I'm Alex Radical from Board Game Co, and today I'm going to show you how I got all of my Arena of the Contest collection from everything you see here over to just these boxes over here. Now, don't get me wrong, this is some degree of an accomplishment, some degree of this is intentional in the way they're structured, but basically, Arena of the Contest, if you haven't seen my two Giant unboxings, it's uh, it comes in all of these boxes, and I mean, I'm talking about the original stuff, the new stuff, the expansions, everything Arena of the Contest comes in all the boxes you're seeing here, once again, for uh, impact and scale and all that stuff. But then, I have managed to get this down to just these four boxes using... I'm trying to think what to do with these before I start the video. Let's go ahead and dump these onto the floor over here. But basically, using a combination of the actual stuff you're supposed to combine, combined with the fact that I don't really use inserts quite as much if it's going to save me space, means that I have been able to condense my Arena of the Contest down to just these four boxes. This video is not for you if you are someone who, um wants the inserts as intended. This video is not for you if you're someone who's triggered by a bunch of components in boxes in ways that might appear messy but are functionally better. I'm telling you, plastic bags are the best. But if you're looking for a, a way to not have your Arena the Contest collection, Tenerys Adventures, Arena the Contest, the RPG, if you're looking for a way for it to not take up your entire house, this is a good starting point. I will say, the Gold Dragon above me over here that side no the gold dragon is over there behind the sword over there so uh the gold dragon is not in these boxes but basically it's a uh, this and the gold dragon is the end of the contest so let's go ahead and show you what we have here i'll timestamp maybe i don't even know how i'm going to timestamp the stuff i put in this box the stuff i put in that box let's go ahead and show you how but before we do i'll try to link down below to the official way you're supposed to condense your Arena of the Contest collection. Those of you who have been watching any of the various uh, content creators with their, their their giant copies full of Arena of the Contest, Nero's Adventures, and being uh, a little bit scared and intimidated by just how much stuff you have, there are ways to condense it that will do a decent job. Not as good as what I have here, but there are certainly ways that will condense it while keeping the inserts you want, while getting rid of the extra boxes that aren't necessary. There's a bunch of stuff you can condense, and I'll try to link to the official thing of what you have to replace, pull out, swap in. There's a bunch of files, there's a bunch of content out there. If you want it, I'll try to have it linked down below. This, on the other hand, is not any of that. This is me trying to manage... Do I have it all correctly? Do I have Tenaris? Uh-oh. I'm sorry. I lied. I'm not going to redo the entire video, but I will start from the beginning. Ugh, I will not start from the beginning. I mean, I will point out that I forgot Tenaris is still over here. I have not done anything with Tenaris. I'll explain why more later. But the short version is I believe I will be condensing everything more, but I also want to make sure that I don't make it so that I have a hard time playing the game, which is a big part of what I did and why. To that end, we have Tenaris over here, and Tenaris is simply in its box. There are no changes to Tenaris. That's because I want to be able to dive into the Tenaris experience without having to figure out what's in four different boxes. So this part is uh, is here. Everything else is condensed into these boxes while trying to prioritize accessibility as much as possible. So let's start off with the very first thing, which is the scenario pack. Because a big part of the way I condense things is I want to make sure I could still play this game without having to figure out what's what, what's where. It's all meant to be very accessible. And to that end, we have the scenario pack, which is still mostly the scenario pack, honestly. Just now it's the scenario pack and the walls. That's what's going on here. This is all the stuff you'll find in the scenario pack without the nice little uh, trays that normally keep everything there. And instead, we have all the walls and doors from Terrace Adventures all condensed in one area. This means that when you want to play I mean, in the contest or so Terrace Adventures, and when you need the scenario, you have it all in one box. All those extras that enhance the gameplay experience are all here. But if you don't want to play without them, if you don't want to play with them, you can simply ignore this box. You can put it off to the side as I'm going to now. Again, Terrace Adventures, all here, all golden, not a single change there. From there... Let's go to the legendary box. This is the one that might... Actually, two of these boxes might hurt you. Two of these boxes might hurt your soul. But it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. We'll get over it. This might be a short video, by the way. I don't know how long it's going to be. There's only so long that I can actually say, I put all the stuff in this bag over here. I put all the stuff in that bag over here. But I put a bunch of stuff in this bag over here for the legendary box over here. Currently has the following. So in the legendary box, we have this much, okay? We currently have the extra boards. Some of the boards are in the base box. We'll get to that shortly. But the rest of the boards are going to be in the legendary box over here. And so currently we have the boards for everything currently stored underneath here. I'm not going to bother taking them out. We also have this giant baggie full of all the various enemies that you have past the enemies. Now I'm not sure. I was going to say past the enemies you have in the core set, but we'll find out shortly. I think the core enemies you have in this box and the core set over here are still there. I'll double check. And there's still consolidation stuff to go, just for the record. There's still ways to consolidate. I believe I'll be able to get everything from the core set and Tenaris in one box, in the Tenaris box, but I have to wait till I actually dive into it before I do that. There'll be more consolidations coming. I don't do this for most of my games. That's not true. 
Have I said that wrong? I do this for all my, all, my, all my games. I don't do a video showing you what I did for most of my games because this is an unboxing. This is a reboxing, and it's a reboxing in a form of chaos that prioritizes space over anything else because I try to prioritize space and fewer boxes over everything else. But again, over here, we have this giant bag full of all the enemies that slides nicely over here. Uh, any broken pieces? Not yet. And I've been doing this kind of storage system for a very long time, and broken pieces are very infrequent. Again, I store all my games like this. Come on, anything, any game with miniatures, they all go into a little bag like this, painted or unpainted. My Blood Rage miniatures are painted, they're in a bag like this. Does it hurt the painter inside you? Possibly, but don't worry. My paint quality is not as good as your painting quality. I'm not risking that much. And I am making sure that every time I play a game or clean up a game, I don't have to find out which miniature goes in exactly which slot in one of 17 million games that there's too much to actually do. I want to spend time playing games and then making videos talking about how to rebox games. I don't want to spend time finding out which slot the miniature goes into. Past that, we have a bunch of cards over here. These are all cards from the expansion boxes, to be very clear. What I did for over this, I took all the cards from the expansion stuff. They're all over here. The base stuff is all, well, with caveats. The heroes are kind of condensed into the hero box because I wanted all my heroes accessible. But everything else that's not a hero-based card... Those are all in here. The extra monsters, the extra uh, items or uh, cards or whatever, the extra anything here for, that's from any expansion box that isn't a hero card is currently in this box, along with some various miniatures that didn't make their way into the other box that's going to give you uh, palpitations. So we have some miniatures over here. This is all based on the height of the miniature. I need to make sure that they fit into this box. So the miniatures that have a shorter height profile that can go into the same box with the remaining boards, those are all in here. They're all nicely there. I do recommend not traveling once you do something like this. Uh, well, not not traveling, but like travel safely. Don't like throw this into a plane and hope that your luggage gets there safely. I think if you're traveling with the Arena of the Contest beforehand, you probably had issues anyway, but this will make that, that they might not survive. This is great for sitting on a shelf. Also, don't tilt the box on the side, because if you do, you'll have these giant amount of weight and boards crushing into the miniatures and possibly being totally fine. But why risk that conversation? And so that's the legendary box. Legendary box is currently housing the boards, all the regular enemy miniatures, some of the painted miniatures that have a lower profile so they can fit into the boxes, because otherwise they don't all fit, and then uh, cards and stuff like that. That's what we have over there. From there, let's go into the dragon collection, which appropriately enough, houses my dragons and other painted miniatures, not the gold dragon, but it houses the rest of everything over here, and this is what we have. Again, apologies to those who see something like this and think to themselves, I would never ever do that. Well, I mean, if that, I just, I guess, I guess I don't apologize for that. I apologize if you see this and you get palpitations from it. But, this allows you to condense your miniatures. This allows you to actually have fewer boxes and more manageable, and, and, listen, here, we're gonna be real with you here. Dragori, I love you, you know I love you, your boxes are messed up. You have like 17 different size profiles for your boxes. You got to pick a lane. You got to pick a lane because, and you can't even say, well, hey, we tried to be efficient. It's not efficient when you have 17 boxes. This is efficient. If your goal is looking ugly but efficient, this does the job. If your goal is, um, well, looking nice, then, then get standard boxes. You have like 17 different sizes for your boxes. It's a little much. And to that end, I no longer have 17 sizes of boxes. I actually kept it so I only have three. Yes, it hurts me that there's three, but there's only so much I can do here. I'm working with what I got. We got the Tenaris box, which is ridiculously oversized. We have this over here, Snero pack, which is a little bit narrower than everything else. And then we have these three boxes. Three boxes. Yeah, these three boxes that are all the same profile. So I narrowed it down to three, closely resembling each other. I did good. I did good. But here we go. Here are the dragons. Again, you can see all them all over here. The painted miniatures, not the dragons. The painted miniatures, including the dragons, all in here. Now, I will say, it does require some degree of finagling to make sure everything works properly. You have to pick, feel free to pause on my screen or do what you need to do. It does require a degree of actually looking at which dragons can fit in which of these boxes, because it does take some working. Some of them are too high to fit on top of the maps. Although, honestly, this one, hold up, hold up. I may have solved this problem. Nope, I didn't solve the problem. They're the same height. I, I thought for a second this might be higher. But basically, the problem you have is some of the dragons are too high to fit on top of the maps, and the rest of the dragons, you need to actually have them broken up into two boxes if you want to fit them into, well, the boxes. So I did the best I could. I made it work. Again, gold, giant dragon, not included, but I think for most of you, it's probably not included. I don't want to constantly uh, be taking care of that all the time, so it is what it is. 
And then we have everything else in Arena the Contest, the core box. That's going to be this stuff over here where we have all the rest. And let's show you how I have this here. And hopefully I, I have this recorded because now that I have it recorded, I can actually go ahead and uh, if I forget how to reassemble this, I got it all on camera. Anyways, I shouldn't forget. It's actually not that hard. But we have over here, we have all the various hero cards and all the various cards of the size just over here from dragons to heroes, everything here. Because my core, my core objective was I wanted to look at this and think, hey, you know, I have it down to four boxes five boxes. I have it down to five. One, two, I have it down to five boxes. Okay. But the way those five boxes are broken up is we have box one is, 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 is scenery. We don't need that, but if I want, I want it. We have box two is Teneris. I'm going to need that to play the game. Box three is Arena of the Contest. I need that to play Arena of the Contest and I need some of it to play Teneris. And then boxes four and five are completely optional. If I want to travel with this, if I just want to bring them out, if I want to be selective of what I, what I pack, what I pull, all of that stuff, I have that flexibility uh, available to me. So that's the goal here. So again, all the heroes in a single box because I want all the heroes, except for the Teneris heroes. They're still in the Teneris box. See previous comments about how Teneris content is still all in the Teneris box. From there, a variety of tokens. These could be more uh, properly assembled over there, or not assembled, uh, diversified. We have all our hero types in singular types of boxes, except for these. These are some of the Teneris heroes, but all the extra contents currently in here. So we have that. Not to say heroes, whatever they're called. We have the various um, packs of miniatures here all sorted by color. You don't need to, but for me, it makes it easier to just grab them out without having to like spill everything onto the table. We have a bunch of cards, all these extra cards that we need for the various heroes. We have our dear friend, this heartfelt letter from the original Kickstarter that I've held onto, even though I didn't actually back the game. I, I traded for it, and then I thought I would get rid of it because I didn't think I'd like it, but it turns out I really like it. I'm a fan of the system, but we have that letter because it means a lot to me. Thank you, Alexandra Booth. I appreciate it. I like your game. But past that, we have over here, we have the quick play guide. We have all the various rule books. The, these are the new updated rule books, I believe, that I got. We have the quest guide, the rule book. We have the uh, the campaign tome and the boss versus boss. All of that consolidated into a single package of all the rule books. Then we have the remaining map over here, the core map. And then we have underneath here, we, we took out the dragon so that we can put everything the way we wanted to. And that dragon is now one of the boxes. So that's the one element that's kind of separated. So if you know you're having a boss encounter and you don't want to grab the other boxes, grab a coaster or something or just have the other boxes available but that's the one exception we have everything else is kind of here past that so we have over here our bag full of dice in there instead the various upgraded plastic tokens which does mean i can get rid of some other tokens but i haven't done that yet then we have these two trays which do have like i thought it does have the original miniatures from the original game this is just the regular tray no major differences just to pass the fact that i haven't sleeved my cards properly which is kind of shameful considering how much i like this game but i need more sleeves i need more sleeves I mean, it's not a game that needs sleeves, let's be honest. The way you hold the cards, it's not necessary, but I also like the game, and I sleeve my games. I need more sleeves. We'll take care of this. This is tomorrow's, tomorrow, future Alex's problem. And I did just back uh, Sleeve Kings. They just ran the campaign on GameFound, but I was running out of the core sleeve size that I need, which I believe is the one that I need over here, so I'm going to have to place an order on Sleeve Kings because this can't wait for a year until they deliver. It is what it is. And then lastly, we have the under the area over here. That's going to be the situation here, which you see the, the regular cards you'd expect. And this is all just regular stuff you'd expect from me in the contest. And that's what we have. We have Arena of the Contest. We have our, again, just reassemble it quickly so you can see everything. So our two layers here. And again, by the way, I think I will be getting rid of these layers. I do not think they'll be sticking around. I think I'll be getting rid of them because I don't feel the need to have the plastic trays. To me, even this level of plastic trays is just kind of because this is what worked to get everything there. But at some point, I'll be further consolidating this because plastic trays can be delightful, not when you have this much content, because now that's just a chore to remember what goes where. Speaking of remembering what goes where, let's see if I can do this. I'm pretty sure I can do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. We're going to put this under here because that's going to give us a little bit more padding room as far as how things go. Because I'm going to put these over here, these over here, these over here. They all, they all go nicely. Oh, we had our tokens there. That's okay. We can put our tokens over here. Just again, it all kind of fits, but the nice part of not having a specific location is you don't need a specific anything. You're just kind of doing the best you can, hoping it all kind of works out, hoping nobody yells at you for the chaos and craziness. Although if you really want chaos and craziness, oh no, we gotta be careful because we also need these over here. If you really want chaos, chaos and craziness, check out um, BGG, uh, Eric Martin, I believe if I recall correctly, had a post where he talked about how he does his game stuff and it was chaos, it was chaos. Now the big thing you wanna do when you start do stuff like this, is you do wanna make sure that your eye level test is uh, good. The eye level test is where you take a look and you say, hey, I have a wing currently over here, a wing that is sticking up a drop above above the lid, lid lift, and if I push a box down in it, it might go down totally fine, or it might break, and I don't like the breaking part. See previous comments about how I make sure everything here does not break. This can go over here like so, and then down a bit, and then we should be good to go. And that is your Arena of the Contest slash Tenaris Adventures consolidation situation 
if I can close this box. I could close the box. I could. I got this. I got it. Right, it's all good. Now, past that, like I said already, my expectation is that once I get rid of trays, I believe, strongly by the way, and I don't think I'll do an update video. Maybe I'll do an update. I'll do an update video on Patreon. Don't, I mean, don't sign up today. Feel free to sign up today, but don't sign up today for this because the update video will be a short video that I do at some point in the future. Some point in the future might be seven months from now. I don't know exactly when, but at some point I will either consolidate these two boxes or fail. One of the two. But I will try to do that because I, I, I think I can get both of these boxes together in one box once I'm done with things. The only reason I'm not doing it today is because in the process of learning Tenaris, I want to make sure I don't confuse myself by having too much content from too many different things. Right now, when you dive into Tenaris, it's basically like, hey, you need everything from Tenaris, and then you need like a board and like these three things from the regular game. That makes it really easy to dive into Tenaris. Not if you screw it up. So I don't want to mix things up together. We're just going to keep it simple. Keep it simple, stupid. And with that, that has been your reboxing of Tenaris Adventures slash Arena of the Contest, consolidating everything from 17 boxes of 14 different shapes and sizes into five boxes of three different shapes and sizes, and even that, I think, is one box too many. Until next time, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co. I hope you found this video helpful. Please let me know if you do, or if you did. I've done a few of these reboxing videos in the past, showing you how I manage my uh, consolidation of too many boxes. Oh, Massive Darkness, you're next. I need to do Massive Darkness next. Anyway, showing you how I manage the consolidation of different boxes, and they've generally been received well, but I don't do them that often. But if you want to see more of them, let me know, and I'll do more of them. Until next time, I hope you have a good one.